And joining me now is senior Obama campaign advisor, Anita Dunn. She's a former White House communications director. Anita, thank you so much for your time. Oh, Tamron, thank you for having me on today. Absolutely. Well, it would appear that the numbers are on your side. When you look at the number of women who are Catholic, non-Catholic, who use contraception, when you also look at the number of people who are Catholics and say they could be loyal and follow their faith and still support the use of contraception. So why now does the White House or the administration feel it's necessary to compromise here? Well, I, I actually haven't heard that the White House is planning to compromise. I think what what people have said and what is absolutely true is that there is a one-year period to allow institutions to phase this in and figure out the best way to do it. But, you know, the, the, um, the facts here are very simple. There are already 28 states that have this requirement, including Massachusetts, which had this requirement in 2002. And Governor Romney, who's been attacking the president today on, on this policy, was governor for four years and did nothing to change that because the reality is this is about birth control. It's 2012, and people who work for institutions, people who, women who aren't Catholic, have a right to the same coverage that everybody else in the United States have, and it works. It's working in many places right now. Over half of the U.S. population lives in one of those 28 states right. that has this as law already. So this is not any kind of right. radical change from what has gone on before. It's really about making sure that women have access to something that the Institute of Medicine, mm -hmm. scientists, medical doctors, nurses, believe women should have access to as part of their overall health coverage. So I think that I think that this is this is one where frankly I think everybody just needs to take a deep breath, calm down and look at the facts.